minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Engines full power and lift off. Go Falcon, go Bandwagon 3. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Now at the T plus 32 second uh, moment, we Falcon 9 has lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. We are currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress. Power and telemetry nominal. On the vehicle, good call out there for power and telem nominal. You can monitor the vehicle's telemetry in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there we heard that call out for Max Q. Now coming up shortly, we're going to have several events happening in quick succession. First is Miko or main engine. back chill. Good call out there. First will be Miko or main engine cutoff, where all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Following this, the Falcon 9 first stage will then perform a flip maneuver concurrently with the MVAC engine on the second stage starting up. Then we'll see the start of the boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage, followed by fairing separation. So keep an eye out for all of these events happening in about 30 seconds from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boot back startup. Fair and separation confirmed. And there we heard those events that happened back to back, which again were main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, the start of the boost back burn on the first stage, and fairing separation. Now we are currently awaiting the conclusion of the boost back burn, which will properly orient the first stage for re entry into the atmosphere. And the second stage is. Uh, firing, which you can monitor in the lower right-hand corner of your stage screen. Stage one boost back shutdown. There's that confirmation of first stage boost back shutdown. So the next milestone coming up is entry burn on our first stage, scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute and 30 second mark. Now that boost back burn is complete, Falcon 9 will perform two more burns in order to land. The first of the two burns is entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. You can think of this as similar to pumping the brakes on your car. And without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag alone to slow down Falcon 9, which adds extra stresses onto the rocket. A single Merlin 1D engine will relight for this particular entry burn. Following the entry burn, the booster will go through its final burn, the landing burn, which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful land landing. And there's confirmation of that stage one entry burn startup. This burn will last about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And that concludes our entry burn. So the first stage has one more burn left to prep for landing. 
As mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster, targeting a landing at landing zone 2, which is not far from our launch pad. Now, the Falcon 9 first stage is equipped with four landing legs, which are made of a carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb mesh, and these are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and will deploy just prior to touchdown of the booster. Now, you may notice the number three in today's mission name, indicating that this mission is stage our... Stage one, FTS has saved. This mission is our third dedicated rideshare mission to a mid-inclination orbit. Rideshare significantly increases access to space for small satellite operators around the world. Stage one landing burn. Now this is the beginning of Falcon 9's final burn, the landing burn. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there we have it, another successful first stage landing at landing zone two, making the third landing for this specific booster in SpaceX's 435th landing of an orbital class rocket. Now, as that booster descended, you may have also seen the booster that previously supported our CRS-32 mission last night. And with confirmation of booster landing, that will be bringing to, we'll be bringing today's webcast to a close. For those interested in learning more about today's payloads and deployments, head over to our customers' websites for more information. To stay up to date with all of our missions, check out spacex.com forward slash launches for schedules. We'd also like to thank all of our Rideshare customers for entrusting us with their spacecraft today. And as always, a big thank you to the Range and the FAA for their ongoing support. That will do it for us here at SpaceX Hawthorne. Good night, everyone, and thank you for tuning in.